I am here with Richard from Evonik Company and now we are going to talk a little bit about the L&D global strategy and structure and transformation. I'm Wagner Casimiro and this is Espresso 3. So Richard, could you describe me a little bit uh, more in details? Uh, what were your challenges when you arrived at the company? So, uh, Wagner, when I arrived to the company, Evonik, it's a company which has 37,000 employees globally in 100 countries. I found that the company was really doing a lot of classroom-based training courses. So I, I joined the team, I have 25 people in my team, and those people normally are doing classroom-based courses for developing employees, mostly in Germany, because my function currently starts to reform or re transform the, the German team into the new organization. The plan was the strategy to, to create some months ago, which was build it, built on blended learning, informal learning or digital learning, to really go and bring learning into the moment of need, of learning need, which was different from the approach before when you do classroom-based courses. And the biggest challenge now is really to go into the organization and change this organizational learning into how, learn, how do you learn yourself rather than learning in a classroom environment when somebody teaches you and how to do this also with my teammates because my team members also are still in the, in, the, in the environment of delivering courses in a classroom. So when I came there I observed this, I talked to the people and made them aware that learning outside the company changed completely. So when people are home in their home place in, in studies in the universities they learn completely different. They use Google to find information. They use YouTube to find videos. And I said, that is the change now also to have in the organization, that we come away from the classroom and give people now some content to learn themselves, which is digital content, to be honest. And now we're starting to really make this happen, that people learn to learn themselves, which they have completely forgotten for the years, as they have been served. So it's like the cook in the kitchen. Yeah, you can cook yourself, you have the ingredients and you need to cook and try and taste it and then you feel that the food is good or you decide to go to a restaurant and we would like to go away from restaurant and do more the self-cooking approach for the, for the people in our organization. Okay, uh, could, you, uh, could you describe me better and more deeply about the, your team uh, change management? Okay, so in my team, of, out of the 25, I have around 10 people who are consultants called, but these consultants are mainly doing training in a classroom environment. And the other half of the team is called the training manager who are administering the courses. So they're planning the rooms, they're planning the teacher, they're putting the dates into the LMS that people can see the courses and they are arranging also the booking of the people. So it means when I would like to go now into the future of learning, which is the new digital way, First of all, I need to free up resources because the people are completely, completely underwater with doing the booking of courses. We are, let's give a number. In Germany, we have around 15,000 employees. And when I consider that we have 5,000 participants per year, they run through classroom-based courses. You can imagine how many, how many people need to really manage the course booking and administration piece. And when I tell them now, we need to go into e-learning or digital learning, they said, yeah, it's nice to see, but how can we do this? We have no idea about how does it work. So first of all now, I have to explain or, or learn or train my, my, my colleagues in using new learning technologies. So when I come from a company outside and join a company, I need to tell them, how do I use learning, social learning platforms or even the social platforms to connect to others? How do I share my learning with others? How do I get learning from others? Where do I find the best resources? And even then also go into learning journeys, which I tell them that maybe you don't need to go for a course for three or five days. Maybe it's enough that you read a book or that you get an e-learning or somebody tells you about the story, which can be done in, in some minutes. But you get a brief understanding of the topic rather than going in a five days course. But you still have the option. If you still decide on, I need to know more about it, I need to get more experience and skills. You can still go to a classroom course, but we would like to show that sometimes maybe it's enough to just get some learning by, by digital learning topics, not just directly go to a classroom. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome.